Crim 2 News at Noon begins now. Hi everyone, right now on Crim 2 News at Noon, the Spokane School District is taking a look at its cell phone policy for kids. We'll hear about what other school districts in the region are doing about cell phone use in the classroom. And we have an absolutely beautiful summer day ongoing, though our morning temperatures could end up a bit on the cool side. Right, plus Zephyr fans getting pretty excited for the new kid announcement later this afternoon. We have all you need to know before their first game coming up this weekend. Hi everyone, it is so good to see you. Welcome to Crenti News at Noon. I'm Laura Papetti, and we begin the show with some heartbreaking news that's coming in to the Crenti Newsroom. The Washington State Patrol says a 17-year-old has died and four other kids were injured in a crash near Nes Pelham late last night. WSP says the 17-year-old was driving when she missed a turn and overcorrected, and that caused the vehicle to roll over. Two 13-year-olds were taken to Sacred Heart Medical Center. A 12-year-old and a 3-year-old were taken to the Cooley Medical Center as well. WSP says all five kids were not wearing a seatbelt, so we'll continue to follow that story. In the meantime, Spokane police are looking for a suspect caught on camera. Take a look at this. The person is stealing a tiny home. This happened earlier this week near Francis Avenue at a gated storage facility. Security video shows that someone wearing a hooded sweatshirt cutting through a fence. Then they back up a truck to the tiny home, hook it up and drive off with the house. Police say they damaged the gate in the process. If you have any information about this incident, you're asked to call Crime Check. That number is at the bottom of your screen, 509-456-2233. All right, two minutes past noon right now. We're going to talk about weather because it was actually a little bit chilly. I'm going to use that word, Thomas. Just, just Thomas a little bit. Yeah, Thomas Patrick <laughs> is standing by. It was a little bit chilly compared to what we have seen over the last few weeks, but things are certainly heating up this afternoon. Yeah, almost the last few months, right, Laura? Mm -hmm. I mean, we have at times have hit record warm low temperatures, and that usually happens when our lows are like 70 to 72 degrees. No, this morning it was 53, a little bit of crispness, a little on the chilly side for some this morning, but that's the uh, summer season typically for us. And it is an absolutely beautiful day for this Wednesday. The sun is out, but I don't feel like I'm getting torched by it because we're really in for just some pretty normal August weather. High temperature of about 85 degrees today with beautiful sunny skies. It's not even all that hazy outside for today, but realize that our overnight temperatures might end up a little chilly. Just don't get caught off guard, especially say if you're walking the dog early in the morning. Yeah, it might end up uh, worthy of a long sleeve, uh, uh, long sleeve shirt for the morning hours. The sunrise 544 AM earlier today. It sets at 802 today and tomorrow are our last two days with the sunset at or after eight o'clock as we are losing about three minutes of daylight per day, but we will have no sort shortage of that sunshine as we have absolutely perfect and calm conditions. So coming up, I'm going to just track when our next chance for any rain or thunderstorms will be for the inland Northwest. So look for those details ahead in about 10 to 12 minutes. All right, my friend, thank you. Taking a look at some of our top stories happening today. Spokane Public Schools is discussing next steps in its cell phone policy. Crem 2's Brandon T. Jones went to the district office and spoke with officials about this topic. Well, we all know just how much cell phones have become a part of our lives, and that's no different than inside of the classrooms. And that's exactly why SPS is trying to actively eliminate the use of cell phones during classroom hours. That's something they're going to continue to talk about at tonight's SBS school board meeting. It's something they've talked about for months and done research on, and new changes could be taking place as soon as this new semester. Actually, those new changes changes would require all elementary and middle schools to be cell phone free during school hours, mandating students to keep the devices in their pockets or backpacks. High schools would follow similar standards, but phone usage would be allowed during passing periods, lunch hours, before and after school. I did get a chance to speak with SBS Superintendent Dr. Adam Swinyard and the school board president Nikki Lockwood about these changes. They told me this is a move they feel will benefit the overall learning experience in Spokane. As a community, we are going to work together on this as a community to help our kids adjust to time and place. There's a time and place I can have my phone on and look at it. There's a time and place when it's not allowed. Our kids can do this. 
They, they can do it and we can do it as a community if we work together. Any potential changes would still allow students to keep their phones near them during school. Devices, however, won't be used during classroom time. Again, the SBS board will go over the changes in their weekly meeting tonight. An official vote to adapt the new policy is expected by their next meeting, August 28th. But for now, reporting outside of the SBS district office, Brandon T. Jones, Crim2 News. Brandon, thank you. And in an effort to bring you more to every story, we reached out to other school districts to give more context on cell phone policies throughout the inland Northwest and beyond. So at the beginning of the month, the Mead School District sent a letter to parents about a change to its cell phone policy within high schools. Starting this fall, high school students will not be allowed to use cell phones, smartwatches, and other personal mobile devices while in class. Students may only use phones or other devices like earbuds when approved by the teacher and it must be for educational purposes. High school students are still allowed to use their cell phones between class or at lunch. Middle school students can also get special permission by the teacher. Otherwise, they are not allowed until the end of the school day. Okay, so in the letter sent to parents, the Mead School District says, quote, a classroom free of the distractions introduced by personal communication devices will foster a more focused and engaged learning environment. So taking a look, that was at the Mead School District. Now, talking about the Coeur d'Alene School District has similar rules for their students there. However, middle school students are allowed to use their phones both before and after school and at lunch as well. California Governor Gavin Newsom sent letters to school districts urging them to restrict students' use of phones. He signed a law in 2019 granting districts the authority to regulate student phone access, but the law is not always enforced. Now, some parents say banning cell phones would help their kids focus during class. And I know just from my own kids, like, you know, they're young, they have a cell phone, they really want to be on it all the time, and that can take away from the experience in the classroom. So I do think there should be uh, stricter restrictions. So recently, Los Angeles Unified, the second largest school district in the nation, based a ban on cell phone use during school hours. It is set to take place in January. 12.07 right now, still ahead right here on Crunchy News at noon. Last night, Donald Trump returned to X, of course, formerly known as Twitter, for a live chat with Elon Musk. The latest from the campaign trail coming up in just two minutes.